still get which you, you were lunch. <laughs> This to Mr. Anil Rajput, Chairman of the Cascade in Accenture. My seniors and uh, esteemed retired chairman of CBIC, uh, to the uh, <coughs> spokesperson there, the big speaker, custom guest, there is a lot of presence of CBIC here, Mr. P. C. Chha, uh, Mr. Patip Shah, and Mr. P. K. Dash, who joined us from across the world. Mr. M. K. Singh, again in Accenture, Principal DJ DRI, Professor Arvind Kumar, and the distinguished panel from across the Distinguished guests from the international community, trade and industry, ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon to you all. We all agree that illicit trade casts its shadow over every part of the world and touches every segment of society. Despite concerted efforts and numerous measures implemented by governments worldwide, smuggling remains a formidable global challenge that undermines both national development and security. Uh, Professor Arun also mentioned peace. It's a very big term. Addressing this complex issue requires a unified and detailed response from governments, businesses, and civil society alike. It has been a privilege, I think, for all of us to participate in today's seminar on global challenges of illicit trade and the way forward. All our esteemed speakers bring to the table a wealth of their experience on the subject, and I've highlighted several critical aspects for all of us to ponder upon. Mr. Adil Rajput's keynote address, Mr. Pranav Dash's video message about the role of WCO on the subject of how it takes a network to defeat a network, Mr. M. K. Singh's inaugural address evaluating the role of BRI, our lead anti smuggling agency, Professor Arun Kumar's deep study of the <coughs> the black income economy, the triad's role in deterring it, and the harm done to the potential of trade and output as well as the way the man behind the enforcement, the social cultural factors that give color international collaboration, and the integrity of all the organizations and the people involved. The panel discussions were adroitly much worn by Mr. Majid Shah, letting each speaker add value to our understanding of the issue with his focused questions. Each panelist has brought out the way forward. Professor Arun Kumar's advocacy of a people's movement to bring about the change in our political class making them more accountable, honesty being a keystone. Brigadier Padhya's inspiring insight into the challenges of manning the borders of the Northeast, how narco-terrorism rides on the back of illicit trade network, and how effective enforcement is needed to put the fear of law into the perpetrators of smuggling. Mr. Sanjay Bansal's perspective on the role of Indian customs being in the forefront of adopting technology as a tool for taking on the challenge of illicit trade through risk assessment and also effectively collaborating with other enforcement agencies and stakeholders for the common goal, whether it's about smuggling of gold or violation of intellectual property, etc. Mr. B.S. Jaiswal's insights into Delhi Police's role in combating illicit trade and the dimension of the problem, these will be the efforts of law enforcement and how to best optimize efforts with the assistance of technology. It's time for predictive policing to harness the potential of databases, cryptocurrencies, and forensic tools to combat this menace. And it is time also to suitably equip the man who enforces the law. Ms. Robert Gupta's crisp collaboration on the role of enforcement directorate in handling illicit trade and investigation into trade based on laundering and the way forward, collaboration, enhancing public awareness community engagement, and enhancing deterrence as well as use of technology. What has been underscored by all is the importance of enhancing agency coordination through the sharing of insights and actionable intelligence. It is a collaborative approach which is essential for dismantling the sophisticated networks that fuel smuggling operations, both domestic and international. It requires all stakeholders to unite seamlessly and exchange vital information in real time. The economic ramifications of smuggling are profound, as highlighted by Professor Arvind Kumar. Illicit trade not only undermines illegitimate businesses, but also diminishes the government's revenue, posing a significant barrier to national development. Effectively combating smuggling is crucial not only for safeguarding our economies, but also for 
promoting fair competition and ensuring that resources are allocated towards essential public good services rather than being siphoned off by criminal syndicates. Furthermore, collaboration with stakeholders and fostering international cooperation, I think, is best for the first strategy. By joining forces with businesses, regulatory bodies, and global partners, we can forge a unified front against money. These alliances will facilitate the sharing of best practices, harvesting of technology, and development of comprehensive strategies aimed at addressing the root causes of illicit trade. I also extend heartfelt congratulations to the talented individuals who excel in the digital art and poster making competition on the theme of stand against smuggling. It is certainly very heartening to witness a level of awareness on this particular issue and the ability to translate the same into an expression of art. Each one of us present here today models the spirit of the Castillas in our mission against illicit activities committed to the cause of future free from smuggling. In conclusion, while the battle against illicit trade remains ongoing, our collective efforts, strategic coordination, and innovative use of technology provide a robust foundation for overcoming these challenges.